you guys have something that you're all really interested in? Something you enjoy to do, like a hobby, such as playing a sport or a musical instrument? Well, I really enjoy playing the flute. I've been a member of a band since I was in sixth grade. I played all through junior high and high school. I was in concert bands, marching bands, pep bands, and full orchestras, and I played the flute. It's very important to have interests and do something you enjoy to do. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to play a flute, and to do this, we're going to have to put it together, we're going to have to learn how to hold it, how to properly make a sound, and how to play a note. The first thing I'm going to teach you how to do is how to put the flute together. There are three parts to a flute. The first is the mouthpiece, then you're going to connect it to the longer piece with all the keys, and you're just going to slide it on in so the keys line up with the opening. The third piece that you're going to connect is just the little piece of the keys, and you're going to connect it so this little knob is in line with the keys in the hole. Now that we know how to put together a flute, we need to learn how to hold it. You're going to hold it so it's to the right of your body, with your left hand like this and your right hand like this. Now you need to know where to put your fingers. Your thumb is going to go on the key that's on the bottom half of the flute. Your left pointer finger is going to go on the second key. The middle finger on your left hand is going to go on the fourth key. And your ring finger on your left hand is going to go on the fifth key. Your right hand pointer finger is going to go on the eighth key. The middle finger on your left right hand is going to go on the, eighth, the ninth key. And then your ring finger on your right hand is going to go on the tenth key. And then there are pinky notes at the end. Now that we know how to properly put together a flute and hold it, we need to learn how to blow through it to produce a sound. But we're just going to do this with the mouthpiece so it's a little bit easier. To do this, you need to imagine yourself blowing through a straw. That's the kind of airflow that it needs. You're going to bring the thicker piece of the mouthpiece and just rest it on your chin like this. And then your bottom lip is just going to rest on the opening of the hole. And then you just blow and make a sound. And once you hear something more than just a normal airflow, you'll know that you're able to start playing notes. So now that we know how to properly put together a flute, how to hold it, and how to make a sound, I can teach you guys how to play a note. And today I'm going to teach you how to play B flat, which was the first note I learned how to play. So we need to put the mouthpiece back on and line up the hole again with the keys. To play a B flat properly, you need to press down the bottom key with your thumb. You need to press down the second key with your left pointer finger. You need to press down the eighth key with your right pointer finger. And then you need to press that first pinky note. Once you have those keys pressed down, you can bring it up to your chin again, blow, and then you can play your B flat. Now that we know how to put together the flute, how to hold it, how to make a sound, and how to play a note, you're basically on your way to playing the flute. There's a lot more to do though to make music and to play songs. I hope you all understand a little bit more about how to play the flute and can appreciate something I really like to do. I hope you all can find something that you're very interested in and teach others so they can appreciate it as well.